really awesome. Even there, look, there's a dead. That's the new human torch. That this could go well with with um, the new long shot coming in. Black costume. I came back to the messy one that let's see this seems like they did yeah they changed their planograms that's great um look at that cobra viper and mcfarland's all mixed in together so here's hyperion and whatever other one i forgot so bazooka Rakondo. and then we have duke over here they got a brand new case which would go right here, vehicle creator. Uh, maybe they got in Bazooka and Rikondo. I'm more so looking for the Cobra officer or patrol viper, whatever, I forgot what it was, but no, not viper, yeah, patrol officer, Python patrol officer. Um, so we'll see if I find that anytime soon, but uh, here we go. There is that. Uh, as far as it goes, I don't think there's anything else that I can think of. <laughs> there's stuff that's randomly placed everywhere. Uh, so they did set up the new Marvel Legends, because here's Iron Man, Howard the Duck, Scarlet Witch, Red Skull. And these are the remaining Black Panther figures. But no, none of the new stuff yet, so that's alright. I don't see anything else. This is the place last time, if you guys remember, they had a, a lot of the crushed Kate Bishops, but they're not here. I wonder if they moved them to a clearing section. It's a possibility, but I, I don't know. So here's, I guess, their clearance section. Um, there's Hordak right there. There's a lot of them. Maybe there's other ones in the back, but it's pretty messy. There's a pink ranger down there. Um, yeah, that's all. That's all we got here. Mm. I think new NECA, right? Nightmare on Elm Street 3. I don't remember ever seeing this one. There you go. All right. Uh, yeah, I remember that one. Okay. Some more Kessler Wolves. All right, we're back at this target. Dungeon Dragon's up. This is important. Finally seeing new stuff, right? So they have eight of each. So they just recently put this out, but they have eight of each. Um, I, I love to have that Build-A-Figure, but I don't care for what the What If figures. I mean, not too bad, but I can easily pass, to be honest, I really can, but it's so cool to see it, right? So cool to see it. Um, still have the Outbacks, but they did get Crocmaster in, right? This is first time seeing Crocmaster at a Target. And these giant, giant, giant figures, right? Look at that. Huge. That's new isn't it this is brand new um nothing on this side you're just finding more new stuff I'm definitely passing on these i it's not for me evil lynn really nice to see that hmm. 
eating that one. Um, doesn't seem like any new Star Wars, really. Um, but new AJ Styles Legends, new Shawn Michaels, new Ultimate Warrior, right? That's cool to see. And they got these guys here too. Just uh, I, not worth it to me. Really not worth it to me. All right. It's coming out. Two bats here. That's here. Snake Men. Roboto. There's Evil Lynn. There's Stratos. All new figures. Here's the new He Man, which is so weird looking. <laughs> it's absolutely weird looking, but there you go. There's too bad. And that's still the same. We're not gonna see much anything new with Star Wars. Um Bo-Katan helmet. They got in Boba Fett. There's five right here. AEW. New top picks. So Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins. Cool to see. Comes with a belt, head of the table shirt, really awesome. AJ Styles is here, Ultimate Warrior, Shawn Michaels. Hey, look at that. Brock Lesnar. This is one I wanted to pick up. I may wait. I may definitely wait on this because that's not really needed right now. But really, really cool to finally see it. And this crazy three pack for $64.99. That looks awesome. Look at all that money, right? Accessories, accessories, very, very important. Um, all right, that's it there. Let's go on the other side. Look at this. There's Necron, Joker, Titan, the new, the new yearly build a figure. It's so ugly. I'm sorry, it is extremely. Um, there's Croc Master coming in. They do have. Shazam. And they have four dead mans here. That looks really cool. Especially the smoke effects, they look really good. There's another, there's more Shazam up there. No G.I. Joe, no replenishment yet. They didn't get it back in. So that's all right. Uh, I mean, I, I was able to grab what I was able to get. We have the new Dungeons and Dragons here, Golden Archive, which I have no idea who these people are, what they are. Um, but you can see in terms of names, this is Simon, which I have no idea. I see a Diana and a Bobby and just the figure collection. So, and that's Holga. So then I also have this big pack right here, which I have no idea. Uh, uh, yeah, accessories, a really big accessories pack. And Marvel Legends. So they started getting in things. This store is different. They got Scarlet Witch here, Howard Duck, and Red Skull. We saw Loki at the other store, so it's still cool. Red Skull, I mean, I mean, out of this whole wave, I probably would pick up Scarlet Witch. Maybe not. I, I don't know. Maybe not. It's just wild to see this stuff. This is heavier. It must be the, the body and the cape. Uh, there you go. That's it here. Cool to see it, right? So here's Target. Sorry, oh, Target. Uh, here's the clearance section. They dropped down to $17.49. It's got to get lower. Definitely has to get lower. Down to the $7.49 price. Hopefully that will happen at some point. A Bridgerton Monopoly. <laughs> oh my God. Um, and Baku is here. Maybe that dropped down in price. How about Nokia? Maybe they dropped down in price. Oh, 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 oh. Ever Ross for $7.49? Why the hell not? Not an open one, though. Holy crap. That was open. Suited body, $7.49. I will definitely do that. Definitely, definitely, definitely do that. What's up, guys? How's it going? Thank you so much for stopping by watching the toy hunt. As always, it's been fun. Um, this was a pretty cool hunt considering the fact that majority of the newer figures that's being put out at Target 
has is, is so abundant. There's so much stuff, um, especially with Marvel Legends now showing up, everything going on. If you guys checked out my uh, recent live toy hunt at Target that one night, <laughs> that was crazy. I, I never thought I would just do something like that, but because um, I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but I did it. And you know what? I may do it on a weekly basis, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, this was crazy considering the, my home target finally was putting out a lot of stuff and it was awesome. It was great. Cause I, I've recently picked up, you know, the last time my, my bazooka and Rikondo as well as my Duke, which, which my, my Duke, I, I'm actually happy with it. I'm not too, too disappointed with it considering it's just a repaint. I mean, Tiger Force, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm still happy with Tiger Force, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I'm still good with it. But this time, so many, many newer figures, um, so much that uh, I can easily hold out and wait for. To be honest, I, I'm definitely gonna hold out and wait on some of them. Uh, Brock Lesnar for the WWE Ultimates line, definitely I can hold out and wait for it. Uh, but they're, trust me, guys, I. As much as I would love to collect some new Marvel Legends, the What If Wave I'm not so so interested in. Uh, it's just MCU I'm pretty much done with. I, I am not collecting MCU anymore. And that Khonshu though, damn, that Khonshu Build-A-Figure is awesome. It really is. Uh, the mere fact that that wave pretty much showed up everywhere and has been mailed out last year it's kind of like a wave from last year in a way, but I mean, you know, Target and Walmart, they're starting to get them in now. Or Walmart, I'm not too sure about. Target, yes, because we've seen it. We've seen them all. Uh, so it is what it is. But with a lot of that stuff coming in, clearance is still slowly moving its way out. Um, I don't know how much more further those clearance prices are going to go, considering the fact that Target does put a date out for themselves. No one knows what that date is, but that's when they just start taking off the shelves and their term of salvage, you know, gets sent out to whoever, Ollie's, Ross, TJ Maxx, things like that. So you never know. Dirt cheap, uh, even though there's no dirt cheap around me. But still, I, I mean, that is just the possibility of what can happen with these figures that do not get purchased at a clearance price. So what I did get, I did pick up at Target. I did get that Everett Ross because I wasn't expecting it to, but it dropped seven forty nine. Right, that is crazy. Seven forty nine. There was no tampering with this. They had enough on the shelf to allow me to at least inspect it in a way. So everything seemed to be good here. Of course, I will open it later um, just to confirm. But it's crazy, right? What I said about MCU is MCU, but with seven forty nine, I can use this body. Or something else i don't need technically everett ross anymore um and to be honest because i got the hatuta zaraze black panther um and the name where i was definitely interested in just to try it out naki and okoye is the only ones i need to build this atuma if they are 749 i would probably pick them up but they're not they're still 1249 at the store so it is what it is whether i get it or not yeah i'm not too concerned about it but another suited body, I will definitely take. I can definitely take another suited body, so not too bad. But I did get the weapons for Atuma. Who knows? I could use it for something. Uh, the other thing is just mail. And I'm extremely happy that I finally got this. Because this is technically a 2022 release date. So this will now be part of my 22 list for G.I. Joe because I want to do my top 10, maybe top five G.I. Joe classified figures of 2022. And I couldn't really do it without this because I really, really wanted these figures and I just have been waiting for them. And I didn't pre-order them because I figured I would find them in stores at some point, but never did. So I'm giving myself a pass and waited for these figures to come in so I can put these in my top five top 10 figures so here it is straight from bbts there they are um yeah i'm extremely happy i got another bbts sticker so yeah there you go uh 
I, I'm extremely excited about these two and <laughs> this one, but I did get two of them. So here they are. Oh, there we go. Crimson Guards, right? Man, the last time I saw these was at RetroCon. And I loved it. But that guy at RetroCon was selling these at like 45 or 50 bucks a figure. And I could not do that. I waited. And now having these in hand, just looking at them, unbelievably awesome. These look incredible. And they're definitely going to be on the top whatever list I make for G.I. Joe. So I can finally do that list and I will definitely have that put out. This is crazy. Um, I, I'm going to review <laughs> so much stuff. And I, oh man, look at that artwork too. That is awesome. So, extremely happy with these guys. But there you go, guys. That's the hunt. Trying to make it quick and short. I tried, but I, I will see what happens with how long this video is. But thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Keep on following me more for more reviews that I'm going to be doing, unboxings, as well as my tool hunts. I greatly appreciate it. And make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Like, comment, subscribe. On the way to 5,000. We're trying to make it by the summer, but I appreciate everyone for subscribing. Thank you so much. Hope to see you soon, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.